to create a boundary on the uh, on the terminal for a field is I go into my guidance page I can uh, just expand the uh, the buttons there and then I go to create a uh, field so I touch on the create new field button I can give it a, a name so we're in uh, pond field so I've now created my field name is I can now create a, create a boundary so I have two main uh, methods of recording a boundary I've straightforward recording and recording worked area if we look at recording first it's highlighted hit the tick box is then essentially we're saying as to whether we're going uh, clockwise around the field or anti-clockwise around the field either left or right has decided that we're, uh, we're recording off or we could say that we want to map it off the uh, off the center of the tractor if I say that uh, I'm going to record uh, on the uh, on the right hand side of the uh, of the tractor or in this case it will be recording on the uh, on the right hand side of the implement is when I'm ready to uh, get going is I hit the uh, hit the record button and then it will start to uh, start to send that uh, that trace as we're, as we're driving along so to start recording my field boundary I just quite simply hit the uh, hit the record button and as I start to start driving we can see then we've got a, a red line being uh, being drawn on the on the screen now I have the option that uh, I can do uh, to uh, pause my recording so if I had a uh, say if I can say it's a fallen tree I wanted to drive around I can pause my recording I can go around that uh, that obstacle but then not record that uh, that path that I've just uh, just driven and then when I hit the uh, hit the resume then is it will uh, draw uh, a nice straight line in between without having that uh, having that wiggle now when we are recording our field boundaries what it's good to do is get a, a nice tight uh, corner in the field so what we want to do is uh, head into the head into the corner if I then hit the pause button and then actually make my uh, make my turn and then back into the uh, back into the corner of the field then is I can resume on there and then I have a nice uh, nicer court shape to the uh, to the corner of the field so when we're coming back round to the uh, to the start where we started recording is to uh, to finish that boundary I just hit the uh, hit the stop button and now it's created my uh, my field we've got our field area in there we can see our boundary and uh, and we're ready to uh, ready to go. The second method then of uh, recording a worked area or recording a boundary is using this second option, recording worked area. So if I highlight that one, press the uh, press the green tick, is I can choose my implement again. I say which way I, I'm travelling around the field, whether I'm anti-clockwise or, uh, or or clockwise within the field, left or right. So here, then I've got it set. That I'm going to record on the on the right hand side, and then to uh, to get going is I uh, I hit, simply hit the hit the record button. But now is my uh, my mapping will be done based on my on my coverage. So if I uh, drop my uh, my linkage down, is then it's now putting in my uh, my coverage map on the uh, on the tractor or behind the implement. But then, if I'm coming into the uh, into the corner of the field, is I come to a standstill, I uh, I lift my implement up. It automatically then pauses the uh, recording process for me, so I'm not having to reach across to the screen. I can then make my uh, make my turn there. I can then back into the uh, back into the corner of the field to get make sure I'm getting a nice uh, nice tight boundary as soon as I uh, drop my linkage or if it was uh, or activate my mapping then it then automatically then carries on with the uh, with the recording procedure